Hi everyone, it's Mark from Cricket Bat Info, back with another video. This time we've got a bat from Asuka, the Chicago Batman. You can see here, custom crafted, as I handle this big lumpy full-size case. Really good quality actually. So this is what we'll be taking a look at on the table behind me today. You get my uh, impressions of it, but I'll quickly show it to you. Really nice case, it's even got the uh, padding up here for the handle, which is something unusual. I'll give you a quick look at it. Hopefully you'll hang around for the whole video. Uh, that's what the profile is. Anybody who'd recognize a screaming cat would recognize that profile. And uh, yeah, he's gone all out on the Batman theme. So he's got the, what looks like the Batman logo with a cricket bat in it and Batman Chicago. And that's a bit of the face. You gotta excuse me, I keep looking at the um, preview screen on the side rather than looking at you. So I'm getting used to this. Uh, we'll have a look at it straight after this. Okay, firstly, thank you very much to Batman Chicago, Asuka for sending this over. Uh, Asuka actually started following the channel when I was still doing photo albums on Facebook uh, and he was getting into repairing bats and we used to chit chat about different things. Chatted to him over the years and he's developed himself into quite a confident repairer and he's moved on now to making his own bats. Now he gets these clefts in and shapes them. So this is very much what Josh Gavin was doing when he started off. So I'd say he probably does the handle and the pressing as uh, the cleft comes pressed, I would say. He was working and doing this on the side. He's now doing this full time uh, and supporting his family, with it, which I think is great. That's sort of the dream for a lot of guys. So what inspired him to create the business? Well, obviously love, love for the sports. He taught himself how to make bats and repair them. He's based in obviously Chicago, the USA. He does do custom orders for fusty buyers. This bat is actually ha uh, going to have to go back to him because it's going to be sold to a customer. So he sent it over from Chicago to Australia for me to review and then he's going to pay for the return leg. What an awesome guy. Um, so this bat's not for sale. Now get this, he actually sells these bats for 450 US dollars, uh, fully knocked, scuffed, toe guard. He puts binding on the toe because some uh, to protect the toe. I'm not a big fan of it. We've discussed this with Asuka and myself. He hasn't had any issues with it. And uh, this particular bat, he did suffer a couple of little dings. He told me as he was packing it, but he didn't have time, but he, he'll fix that up. Uh, they're very, very minor. So he does a player edition and a black edition, which is 350. Both models come knocked and one year free repair service included in the price. Really nice cover, I showed that to you. So this bat has not been knocked. He told me this. Uh, some nice looking grains there. We've got a bit of heartwood down the right hander's inside edge, a little bit of a pin knot here, and some nice grains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So they sort of narrow towards this edge here, uh, but nice looking. Uh, this is the Julian Millichamp profile, what Laver would call the classic. Um, I had one of these from Laver and Wood. Um, so he really, really loves this uh, profile. So uh, that's why he's uh, making it, which I think it's really good when when bat, when bat makers honor the traditional styles, uh, the ones that are, that are proven. You've seen this sort of shape repeated over and over again. It's very clean on the back. We'll have a much closer look at those stickers. He's really gone all out on these. They've got Texturing, oh, there's a little bit of texturing there, mainly embossing. Um, the glossy finish with the US flag in black and white on the background, and Batman Chicago with obviously a theme on Batman himself, which I haven't seen the new movie. Uh, we've got here English Willow and Player Edition. This side. What does he say here? For the specialist, by the specialist, player edition, and www.batmanchicago.com, so you can look that up. That's pretty nice with the 
skyline of something like a Batman comic. Um, the black skyline, but obviously that's Chicago as well. What else is written there? Made in the United States. So that's really nice. I think this is the first bat we've actually had made uh, come in that's been made in the United States. So yeah. <laughs> so far, I'm pretty impressed. I do, you know, I always think that uh, black looks great on bats. They're covering a little bit of willow, but you know, there's a theme there, and I, I think a lot of players would really appreciate that. Uh, and it's got, you know, like little features like this, like if somebody had put a, a shield and pinned it on, it looks really nice. So I do think that's good. The shape itself, obviously, I do like, which we'll have a look at that shape right now. So firstly, let's stick it through the gauge and have a look. So I can see immediately a little bit of narrowing, uh, but that spine is going almost all the way to the top. It's a flatter face but it does go through the gauge, which is cool. The features of this style of bat is you get this long middle. That means you're pretty much going to have action all the way along the length of the blade, predominantly in the middle. So, and obviously you get that nice full profile. So we'll start with the uh, shoulders up here and these traditional bats always have really thick shoulders. So that's Look at that, 20 mil. And up here at the top, 45. So there's not gonna be any issues with this handle. Uh, and there's a real treat under the grip I've gotta show you. So 34 mil edge, very traditional. And 25 down the bottom there. You can see some really heavy boning of the edges. He's not leaving them sharp, which I think is really good. Uh, obviously that, um, Penalise him for those who just say, oh, it's not 40 mil edge, I don't want to see it. Yeah, 31.9, yep, a really thick toe too. Uh, the width, we'll check that out. Uh, so there you go, 106. So that's pretty, um, look, it's what I'm seeing in pretty much everybody coming through. And this is a handmade bat. Uh, let's see if it's a bit, it's a bit thicker down the toe. And, yeah, it's 106 once the edge tape goes on. It's pretty much like that Helfa lever we did the other day. Look how thick that handle is. So it's a beautiful oval handle. Really, really nice, thick uh, and traditional. And it's semi-oval at the top. So this is really a handle that uh, people would love to, to use if they're, they're not, they don't want to be too bottom hand dominant. Good quality grip too. So nice quality latex grip, does his own binding and unusually he uses a vinyl bind binding. So I always wondered that, I said I've had trouble trying to use vi uh, vinyl for binding. It slips around but he's obviously mastered it and he's doing it in black which I think is really a cool sort of thing. You can see here three rubber uh, inserts. Down there you've got his contact details which is pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to help that and pretend I can bat. Yeah, it feels really nicely balanced. It actually feels like a... It actually, it's actually balanced really well because you've got all that weight in the handle. I'm guessing it's a 2.9, but it feels uh, probably much, much uh, better balanced than that. So his balancing is really nice. Let's weigh it. Do what it comes to. Oh, crikey. 2.9. Wow. 2.11. You know, that, that's one of the things you get, you can get much heavier bats, but because of the amount of weight that's put left up here in the, the top of the bat into the handle, it's much, much better balanced. So you don't really feel uh, that weight even in a full profile. Whereas, you know, bats that go for a really big bulge and sacrifice by taking a lot of wood out here, they pick up terribly, but that's really nice. No time waiting and we'll tap it up. Starting at the toe. Yeah, really going in that middle. And it's going to go from mid high to crazy mid. And it'll have a little bit there in the low position. So, thank you very much, uh, Mr. 
Batman Chicago. Um, you definitely impressed me with this bat. And your pricing, 450 US dollars. Hey Google, what's 450 US dollars in Australian? On the website currencylive.com, they say send money and track rate at the highest exchange rate seen in the last seven days. $450 would be worth $627.66, while at the weekly low it would be worth $610.25. Okay, Google's being a bit of a show off. You get the drift, just over $600. That's really impressive. I mean, obviously you can't have all those extras like free repairs and that if you're not in Chicago. Um, and he did tell me that his demand, he's got like a, a waiting list for bats. So um, you're not gonna be able to get one made anytime soon. You'll go on a waiting list, uh, but it's really, really nice to see somebody who's enjoyed the channel uh, sharing the spoils of his love for the game and love for bat making with us all. So that's a really nice bat. Thank you very much, Asuka. And uh, if you enjoy what I do, then do consider doing what it says there, like subscribe, comment, share this video on, um, do all those types of things to help me out. Your views and likes and comments are what drive the algorithm. And if you don't do that, it doesn't get seen. And uh, it does help me a little bit with the costs that I've already spent. So uh, I do you know, appreciate if you can do that. And I will see you in the comments. Love to hear your thoughts. This has been Mark from Cricketbat Info and we'll see you on the next video.